Ghost from NUB. Why do you think your CEO is there? When was the last time a CEO came up with an original idea or a new service or product for the bank? I don't know. When was the last time a bank suffered or was unable to move forward because the CEO left? Never. The CEO does not generate value for the bank. He or she is there merely to extract wealth from you, the workers, in order to give it to the shareholders. How do they do this? Very simple. They exploit you by making you work more but pay you lesser salary. They keep you desperate so that it is easy to control you. They use all your managers and officers to do union busting by dividing and ruling you. I will give you an example. CEOs like Public Bank, Tan Sri Datun Sri Te Ale, earns 52 million a year. Maybank CEO Kairu Saleh Ramli earns 12 million. Hongyong Bank Kevin Lam, a foreigner in a local bank, is paid 33 million. They are paid millions to cold bloodedly exploit and oppress workers for the benefit of the shareholders and create a godlike image of the CEOs to control, manipulate and terrorize the worker. It will take an average bank worker more than 130 years to earn what the average CEO will earn in one year. These CEOs do not care about the workers. They are there to butcher the workers to benefit their pocket and butter the shareholders who decide on their insane income. These CEOs also create a propaganda that they are professionals, that they care for the workers and act in the best interest of the workers. On the contrary, it is clear as daylight that these CEOs behave like they are a caste above the workers. The HR department is not the friend of the worker. The CEO is the butcher of the shareholders and HR department is the butcher for the CEO. Despite the obscene income gap, these CEOs refuse to even pay the meager 2% SST increase for a basic item like the family medical insurance just to show off their power. The CEOs stopped you from attending HRDC trainings facilitated by NUB and other classroom training with proper reference material. They just force you to attend ineffective e-learning. There are even employees who have worked for 15 years without attending a single training program. Maybank CEO Kairu Saleh is harassing and terrorizing your members working in Bay Bank for being seriously ill with COVID and post COVID with the intention of forcing them out. He is also protecting management staff to sexually harass any member while hypocritically campaigning for anti-sexual harassment campaign at the same time. CEOs like Dato Kairu Saleh 
who is the ABM chairman and his laptop Dato Priyanji who serves as his henchman in NCBA will forever conduct all sorts of union busting activities to accumulate and divide the workers and prevent them from standing behind the union. A CEO is like a monster in the fairy tale who forces the religious to send one of their own to be sacrificed to satisfy their appetite every year. As long as the villagers keep sending one of their own to be eaten by the monster with the belief that it will be never their turn to be eaten by the monster, the villagers will never unite. The union is the night in shining harbor, who is destined to slay the monster and liberate the world. We will always be victims of their greed if we are divided. It is only when the workers unite in solidarity with all NUB members and fight back, we will be able to transform ourselves into a knight in shining armor. Only then we will be capable of slaying all sorts of greedy monsters and their HR department henchmen. This is the reason why you need to be at the Fight Back Ticket starting from 21st July. One for all, all for one. Long live the workers, long live the Malaysia. Stand up, step forward and fight back. See you at the fight back picket line from today.